going straight to business. Straight to business here. Straight to business. Uh, me and Mike. Is this, the, is this a disclaimer? Mike and I. There's a disclaimer. Mike and I. I like how you switched that up. Thank you. Well, I've been. I've only been corrected about every minute of my mm. life. Anyway. Uh, Mike and I recorded about three weeks ago. Was it three weeks ago? It was It was around the holidays, Christmas, yeah. New Year's, that kind of stuff. Just after the holidays, because we... Determined to get yeah. something out to our diehard fans, which we can't hear enough from. Thank you. Um, but what happened was, is that we recorded this thing, and neither of us remember any of it. So we, we decided to do it at, it must have been close to 3.30, it was, yeah, it was Yeah, it was 4 a.m. It was at least 4 a.m. So it was nasty. Yeah. And we, don't remember, we don't remember any of it. What happened is that we both just sat down... And listen to it, and uh, Mike is going to hack it up and try to find the best parts of it. But my favorite part about this is uh, Mike is about to make a statement about it, and I'm going to hand the microphone over to Michael right now. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the the be- I think the most flattering part about doing it or listening to it tonight would be where you were like. I can't believe how much this hinges on me not being drunk. Yes, that's true. Uh, that's you know, true. Like, I got to have a buzz <laughs> maybe, but the amount of like responses that I gave that were like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you were just, yeah. I was talking to a wall. I talked to a yeah. wall for 20 minutes. Yeah. But, but nonetheless, if, if, if you don't like it, uh, maybe find – Michael, maybe thumbnail it somehow. I maybe. can't. I, you know what? We were just talking about how we were gonna like maybe th- like wedge it into this one. Yeah, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'll post it as its own with a disclaimer that says, "Listen at your own risk." Kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll call it episode thirteen. Bad luck. Bad luck. <laughs> bad luck episode. Yeah, <laughs> episode thirteen. Bad yeah. luck episode. Oh man, the post things that could own. be called. Yeah, it's gonna be a like a thirty minute episode or something, or it might be mixed into the next one. But it might be even less because I mean, there's some, there's some, there's. The things that I'm going to cut, and it's not for any reason other than it's boring as fuck. Yeah, yeah. There's some. There's like a, a good 10, 20 minutes that we're just rambling about toothbrushes or and yeah, we're finances, lipping off to people in the background. How much I hate the holidays. So it's going to sound choppy as shit if you hear it. Nah, I'm pretty good at my job. I mean, choppy in the sense of like, where's the continuity? Yeah, like, I mean, there wasn't any when you listened to it. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but true. I don't think there's continuity in the first place yeah. on our professionally recorded. I really podcast. like. I'm gonna try to keep all the best parts, and we were kind of laughing a lot at some of it. It starts out pretty good. I think we just missed the window of having a good podcast by about an hour. Yeah. I <laughs> so. do like the idea I had at the very end of it, where I was blackout drunk as well. I like the idea where the the first ten Instagram commenters. We will send them T-shirts. We they will get yeah. dumpster talk T-shirts. I mean, we got to go out and make T-shirts though. That's okay. I got that all. I got that under control. You got that. Uh, I totally have that under control. Right. The only cost is going to be shipping, but I have the T-shirts under control. All right. Yeah. So please, uh, looking forward to your. To well, I'm just glad that we're recording again because I mean that as much as as much as I enjoy, you know, having the sit down and the talk. I mm-hmm. missed that. That was great. Yeah. But we're also like we're paying for hosting, so it's like wait, let's use this, you know. Let's get something up. Are we paying for hosting? Well, it's twenty bucks. What? It's nothing. Yeah. This is costing you money to do this. Yeah. I, might, I, might I don't worry. You. you you can get the t-shirts or oh, whatever. I owe you we'll a thick dinner, but okay, I'll take care. Yeah. I'll do the t-shirt material. Yeah. I'll do that. No. So we'll make some t-shirts, no. and uh, and if you want, you want to do a giveaway for some t-shirts. I'd want the first the first ten. Uh, dumpster stuff Instagram commenters on the pic. We'll post a picture of the T-shirt. No, no, no. You don't get a picture of the T-shirt. Well, what are they going to comment on? I haven't posted anything on Instagram forever. Just okay. We'll make an Instagram post after this podcast, right? Yep. Well, after dumpster. we after we upload this, so it'll be it'll right. be up now. Okay. And now we want you immediately because now you're listening to it. We'll make it actually. You know what we're going to do? What's that? We'll make a post right before this, mm-hmm. and. We won't actually say what it's for, mm-hmm. but the first ten people who comment on it get yeah. a T-shirt. That's nice. I so like that. it'll and be then, and it'll be fucking random. Yeah, that's fine. It might be a picture of Harrison Ford from yeah. The Fugitive. And then you gotta you gotta DM your address or something. I don't know how we do that, but we'll work yeah. that out. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll track them all down, get the ten addresses, yeah. and you get a T-shirt. You get a dumpster stock T-shirt. Yeah. I'm fucking pumped about that. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of mm. fun sorting all that shit out. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's going to be like 30 bucks in shipping. What are we going to put on the t-shirt, though? I, that's mine. That's mine. It's actually not that much to ship a t-shirt. I'm going to... Actually, it, it fucking is, because I tried to order a t-shirt yesterday, and by From the, the U.S.? It, yeah. See, that's By different. the end of it, it was $68. We got no fans in the U.S. You'd be shipping it to Alberta, maybe, furthest. Maybe Vancouver. There's this fucking cool company that does this shit, and they do, uh, they do all... Every single uh, baseball league that ever existed throughout the U.S. Yeah. Right? They have the logo... And the name and like everything. old ones that don't They've exist done, now? No, like they're crazy ones. Like the one I wanted to order was the uh, a Hebrew Orphan League. Yeah. And it was this wicked logo, Hebrew Orphan League, and it had like a kid with a hole in a bat behind yeah. a star David. It looked really good. And I went through the whole thing, and it got it finally got down to the PayPal thing, and it's like, and that'll be uh, $69. Ooh. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I, I even emailed the guy being like, come on, man. Yeah, no, that's, can't that's be a bit much. Can't be that much to order a fucking T-shirt. But I mean, that's got to be like duties because coming from the States, it's huge. So It's just some companies are different than others. And they're making a nice thing. It won't, co- it won't cost that much, to be honest. And we'll split it. We'll split the fucking shirt. No, no, I'm not worried about it. I know yeah. I know what our <laughs> our material cost is going to be. Yeah. It's really low. Yeah. <laughs> our material cost is going to be Are you quite talking low. like iron-ons? Or t- what are you talking about? Nice I'm, just, I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna give it away. All we'll right. we'll, we'll take, some, we'll take some photos uh, the week after we send them out. All and right. just be, everyone's going to be really pumped to arrive. It's going to be really good. It's a good idea. We're going to be right. very excited. I like it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, if it's free, then nobody can fucking complain about it. That's too. right. So are we still recording the intro to our crappy podcast, or are we recording our podcast now? Well, this is the podcast. This is the podcast. I mean, none of this is live. I know that you can't really grasp that, but <laughs> yeah. this can be whatever you want it to be. Well, we got to call my mom on this podcast live. Yeah. No, wait, no. What time is it? Uh, yeah, we can probably still call my mom. Have you <laughs> called my mom on a live podcast yet? <laughs> no, definitely haven't. What do you want to? What do you want to tell her if we call her? I don't know if we know. Do we? I like we don't have. I guess you could call her on speakerphone. Mm. Yeah, that would probably work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen. I've heard worse things. Yeah. No. Is she even going to answer? Or what? At ten o'clock at night, she might. She might answer. We'll work something out. Maybe we'll even play a little skit on her or something like that. She's like wildly gullible. It's amazing. So very emotional. Oh, you want to like pull a jerky boys on her? Yeah, let's do that. We'll actually prank on my mom and like really fuck with her too. Your mom, your yeah. mom's a sweetheart too. She's probably pretty gullible. My mom would know it's me. She's got like some weird intuition. So I'll, I'll do me then. And my, my mom would be worried. I I can't. Pra- she's got like oh, she would. Geez. She'd be so worried. She's gonna have a heart attack. No, no, I hope not. But. Then we're just going to tell her that there's some. Okay, look, what's going on? Look, there's a lot of people on your roof right now. There's a lot of. Like, we're outside. And we're like, can yeah, you hear that them? Would ter- that would terrify my. Can mom. you hear them? Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> we're outside the house right now, Mom. I'm just pulling up to the house right now, and I just I want to know if did you invite a lot of people over tonight? Oh, what? Oh, God. Well, there's a lot of people on the roof. I'm looking at like 70 people standing on the roof of your house right now. Can you not hear them? That's a really freaky idea. I like that one. Do it to your mom. We can do that. Yeah. All right. You want to try it right now? Sure. All right. Let's see what goes. Let's see what goes. See what happens. All right. Uh, oh, I can't. I have to. Okay, you, have, you, have, you have to edit this out, right? I'm gonna. Why? I'm gonna because I'm gonna say my number aloud. No, no, I don't have to. I'll dial it in. I guess. Let's you could it. type it in there. I guess I haven't done that in a lot. <laughs> I know you use Siri just... for everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say it out loud because I don't know how to type. It numbers into my phone. Okay. All right. Let me put on the speakerphone. Let's see how this goes. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. I think I can hear it. Hello? Hi. Uh, Mom? Hi. Yeah? Mom, uh, where are you right now? Are you at home? Yeah, of course I'm at home. You called me on my home phone. Okay. Well, it's weird because I was at uh, Rob's house down the street. Yeah. Okay. You didn't, you're not having any people overnight or anything? Are you aware that there's, like, a couple of people standing on the roof of the house right now? Justin, please don't say stuff like that. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Like, there's... I'm being... I'm, I, hang on. I'm not I'm not joking. Like, I drove past, and then I slowed down. I'm like, okay, maybe it's, like, Steve and my Uncle Steve, like, standing on the roof. Like, maybe you're taking off the Christmas lights or something? Justin, where are you right now? There's... I'm over at Mike's. But I was ra- I was driving past Rob's place, and I'm going like, "Well, there's." House, if you drove by my house and saw somebody standing on my roof, would you not want to 
want to get out of the car? Well, no, I did because I figured it was maybe getting taken out of Christmas lights. I've never had Christmas lights. You have the red ones. The red ones are up there. 1983 was the last time I had Christmas lights. Okay, well, hang on, hang on. Are you not more concerned about the people on the roof of your house right now? Yes, of course I am. Okay, well, hang on. So. What, uh, what time was this at? Right, like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I'm with Mike at Rob Law's house, like down on the street. There's people. There's somebody on my roof. There's I'm like at, at least there's at least two people on the roof right now. I would hear people on my roof. That's what I said. Are you sure? It's I knew where I grew up, Mom. There's people on the roof of the house right now, probably still. Like, if you haven't heard them come down, they're probably still up there. If I drove by your house, I would do the decent thing, and if I saw somebody on your roof, I would have. Into the driveway immediately. I'm calling you right now. I'm do I'm doing I'm calling you right now to tell you there's probably people on the roof of your house right now. I'm looking for footprints. There's no footprints in my snow. Which one? Outside? Yes. You're outside the house right now? Yes. Okay, well hang on. Like did they go up did they climb up? Maybe they climbed up like the front of the garage or something. No, I I've already looked at the garage roof. I've gone to the garage roof. There's no footprints. Is there a ladder or anything? It doesn't sound like you're outside. I would hear like, are you sure? I didn't even hear the door open. I think you're fibbing. In fact, if you don't even know there's people outside, I don't. I would. I wish she didn't even step outside. It could be people. People stepping on the. Okay, I think you're not buying it now. I think I just got pranked by my own mom. Did you just hang up on her? Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't buying it. She was outside your house. No, I don't think she was. I think she was fucking around. I think I think I've, I've screwed with her enough. She doesn't buy a word I say. <laughs> Dude, we got, she's we laughing gotta, at you. We got to prank your sweet mom. I not. Would never let that happen. Let's call her right now. No. <laughs> Why not? No way. I'm not letting. Because no, she'd buy it. She would buy it, yeah. and she would be terrified. Yeah. My mom doesn't buy shit. She My, was outside. You could hear her outside. Do you think so? Oh yeah. It didn't sound like any, she had stepped outside at all. But I don't think she. Bought I think she either. was outside. She still thinks I have, like, uh, a Bruce Springsteen tattoo to my ass and, like, all this nonsense. <laughs> She's a sweet lady. <laughs> Very sweet lady. I'm gonna, can I steal one of your beers? Yeah. I don't know if there, there's none in there. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Give me, pause it. Pause the machine. Right. Um, yeah. Like, I don't think a Friday or Saturday night went by throughout between 13 and, I don't know, 18. That my mom got called at least once a weekend with some shit. Just... <laughs> Always. My friends would fuck yeah. with her. Always. Because she was such an emotional wreck. So I guess, now that I'm 36, she's not worried anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. She was pretty She's pretty upset that you didn't stop and tell them to get off the house. <laughs> I thought that was, uh, that was great. That's a fun one. That's what, do you, a, what, do you, what do you think your dad was doing? Just like, oh, God. I know my dad one time actually got his gun. My dad, I, my friends came by my house. I was out doing some shit and my friends came by and like grabbed a planter off my front lawn and threw it through one of the threw it at the garage door and it blew through the garage door yeah garage door panel and they thought this is like this is funny you know McD's gonna fucking wait he's gonna be in so much shit for this yeah but they didn't realize that my dad is a bit of a maniac and he will fucking blow your brains out he's got a gun yeah. He's got guns are all over the house. He will fucking kill you. <laughs> he's, a little, he's a little wild. He's, he's a, a little bit of a loose he's cannon. That's the thing. He's a, he's not a stable guy. He's an Did intelligent you say guy. At an Uncle Steve and I have a Steve. I have Uncle Steve and a Steve. And your dad's name's Steve though. Yeah, but there's married and uncles. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it's not his brother not Steve. <laughs> Steve and his brother <laughs> my, Steve. I'm Daryl. It's my brother Daryl. My other brother Daryl. Yeah. Okay. No, it's yeah, it's a married and Steve's. Um, so he pulled the gun. Who would he pull the gun on? Oh, I guess you can't. No, he pulled. Yeah, he pulled a gun on three of my friends, but yeah. they they didn't know. They didn't know. It was only when I came home because I was in so much trouble. Like they were calling parents' houses all over the place. Oh and, yeah, uh, like a parent came over to the party I was at, and so that you got to go home right now. Like you're in. Oh, because your parents were calling around to find out yeah. who did it. Yeah, and then I, I came home, and my mom was like, "Your dad like pointed a gun at one of your fucking friends tonight." Like. Uh, yeah, like really, like this shit has to fucking stop, and it didn't stop. It didn't stop. It didn't stop for like five more years. But I was like explicit, being like, "All right, don't go to the fucking house." Parent calls, okay, but don't go to the fucking house. It's like he will fucking shoot. Yeah, if he thinks someone's attacking the house, he will fucking shoot because the house got attacked. They threw a 
I don't know, like a 30 pound planter, like a concrete planter through the garage door, like the, <laughs> like the panel of the garage door went through it and they ran off. <laughs> Bunch of fucking idiots. These are my fucking, these are my, my, my best friends. <laughs> but they're just I like, mean, that, that, I, I know. But yeah. when you're fucking 14 or whatever, and who knows what friends are made uh, of. Yeah, I don't know if it's best friends material, but sure, yeah. Yeah, well, I still hang out with them today. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> you stick with what you know, you know? Yeah, yeah. There's that thing. <laughs> you don't get to choose your friends. Uh, actually, you do. You can just not hang out with them. Yeah, yeah. You don't get to choose your family. That's the. That's yeah, the, I know. Yeah, you well, do no, get no, to I've choose your friends. Thing, no, you're, 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 you, you don't get to choose your family, but your friends choose you or something. I don't know what it was. It's not. It's like a fucking. It's like a cat poster. I'm literally quoting like an inspirational piece of chalkboard onto the internet. Yeah. Or something right now. Yeah. But. Nice calligraphy painted on it's like some barn board. <laughs> yeah. Hung up in a fucking you stage it up house. Nice, yeah. And yeah. like, if you wrote it out nice, be like, your seventh abortion is just glee or something. You could write it on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it <just> looks nice. <laughs> Inspire. You don't know what it's like until you had your eighth abortion. And then. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, God. I feel like. So it's been a really long time since we recorded. And I feel like. Well, except for that nonsense we did. Well, that. Uh, yeah. This, I don't know if disclaimer. anything is going to come from that. No, nothing's going to come. Oh, Jesus. But that thing, with that proximity. Again. Well, I keep trying to get it closer to you, and you keep moving away from it. So. Well, then we got to get me a head mic. I need a head mic. Go get one. All right. They exist. Enough. We're not discussing that. Anymore. I know. Okay. Hey. So the new house. I just move your mic. You're the one who responds to me moving yeah. it. I want to talk about your new house. This house? It's got every stitch of furniture you could ever need in a house already. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Except so the I couch. Was... We're waiting on that. Oh yeah, for the little oh, studio. Oh, well, who cares? But what I was what I was upset about, not upset about, but what I would be upset about if I owned this house would be like, well, I guess we're never going to decorate because it's decorated. Within twelve hours of moving in, your house is completely decorated. Yeah, it's done in every sense. Yeah. You're never going to change. You're, you're never going to alter I don't anything. Change. Yeah, well, it changes all the time. You're going to buy a knickknack and you're going to take a knickknack down, put a knickknack up. Patty whack. Chalk she Yeah. <laughs> Miss whack. <laughs> Daddy was a Rolling Stone. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so that's a thing. Like your your shit's all established. Yeah, it feels like a home. It does. It feel like a home. It's like more than mine. Mine feels like a like a like a hospital now. At this point, when I, I no, to you, this. no, yours feels like a home. But it did take a little time. It took three years. But you also moved in with nothing. Literally, yeah, absolutely nothing. Yeah, like. If you think of all the shit you had in your apartment before it burned down, and you moved that <sighs> yeah, into a house, so, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I lose track of that all the time because I actually try to forget about it. All the shit that I'm, I, I'm sorry to bring it up. <laughs> I, I mean, I am. I'm sorry to bring no, it no, up. No, no, but I, yeah. but that stuff. If you had had that stuff and moved it into the house, yeah, you would have had the same feeling. It every stitch of wall would have been covered, and yeah, I guess yeah. so. Okay, yeah, all right, you got me on that yeah. one. Uh, I, I mean, Kate's had a ton of work, and she makes things look good mm-hmm. like she does a really good job of it so um i make win. you look good anyway i win yeah. yeah you're like a you're like a bowl of old spent clamshells the one thing that makes might look good <laughs> a bowl of spent clamshells mm-hmm. you know, shined up mm-hmm. full of pearls no but they were all used up all everything scooped out of them they're all garbage it's a nasty bucket of used up clamshells that's me yeah sea refuse that's what i am it's you uh, she dresses you up, and she's the pearls. You look like a stallion. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. She's actually that. She, she's yeah. that talented. That's true. Yeah. She, she'd turn it into a craft. She's your better half. Yeah. She'd turn it into a craft. I think I have ten tinnitus in my ear, man. I get fucking like my ears clicking. It does does it all the time. Yeah. Well, you should. You probably would have tinnitus. You blasted your fucking brains out with punk rock music for years. Too long. Yeah. Too long. And I always stood on the same side of a drummer for a long time. Oh, you had because you felt. You well, I was just like always stand like with the amp would be in a certain spot, and I'd just that stand. Was it was always it. on the left. Drums were always on the left hand side of my ear. It feels like yeah. for a majority of the time, and then yeah. it's just I've been I've been cautious about out. that. A lot of a lot of old guys in my line of work tonight is a lot of guys. Yeah, it's like you got to get away from it because it is just like enjoy your lifelong headache from yeah. like sixty to eighty. You were gonna have a headache. So oh. I got to get away from that shit. It's like it's like it clicks in my ear. It's so weird. You gotta get a you get maybe get ahead of it, maybe. What do you mean? Get ahead of it. Go to a hearing clinic. Or something. I've done that. Yeah, yeah, I went and they were like, "Oh, you're all right. You lost a bit of highs." Yeah. Like, all right. Yeah. Um, 
the one thing in that recording that when we were listening to it, which I mm-hmm. totally didn't remember happening. What's that? Was we reenacted a scene from Fugitive, which was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I gotta try to keep it in there, but that was actually pretty pretty great. It was pretty funny. And it was pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think of another a few oh, other, other key uh, scenes, other plot points, or or synopsis of. Yeah, we didn't react to re- reenact a scene. I okay. guess we gave a synopsis. I have a little. Of a movie. I have something I was thinking about today. So what, I, would, what I, I watched The Godfather uh, one and two. See, I've never seen those. So it's not going to work. That's fucking stupid. If you not watch those, well, how could you not watch what? Yeah, I know, right? See, you got mad at me for not watching Goonies, but you're talking about like I never got mad at you over that. That was somebody else. Right. But I'm going to get mad at you for not watching Goonies I've right seen, now. I've seen Goonies. Of course, I've seen Goonies, oh. but I didn't see it when like the time was right. So I don't have the so nostalgia don't shit about now it. when I watch it. I'm like, okay, it's just a fucking kid movie. Like, yeah. I might as well watch 10 Things I Hate About You now. Like, this doesn't, doesn't matter. 10 Things I Hate About You is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it isn't, actually. But um, That's McConaughey, isn't it? No, that's um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh, um, yeah. 10 Things I Hate About You is just a teen movie with Jennifer Love Hewitt, I think. Oh, or, I know. Might, yeah, it was like one of those that. Freddie Prince Jr. movies or it's, something. But it's not even that. I got that wrong, too. Yeah. Uh, um, Ten things I hate about you. Can't, okay, can't hardly wait is Jennifer Love Hewitt. She's wearing a blue dress. She's really pretty, and it's got Seth Green in it and stuff. Good, good. Oh, flick. Right? I okay. mean, good, good teen flick. I what suppose. was the one where the girl that is like our super hot chick, but they put glasses on her, so she's the nerd? Yeah, that's Ten Things I Hate About You. I think. I think it no. is. It had. I think it had Heath Ledger in it. It had Freddie Prince Jr. in it. And she, uh, oh, she's all that. Yeah, we're fucking all. Yeah, maybe that too. She yeah. was wearing like overalls and stuff. Because I mean, it, it got parodied by other funny movies. Oh and yeah, stuff, all those so fucking I, parody movies. It's a bit convoluted now. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. And there's probably people screaming at the recording right now. Three weeks from now, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead right now. I died. I died in a <laughs> volcano incident, and they're still yelling at me right now because I don't know who. Who Heath was Ledger in. was in some shitty movie. I think it was Heath Ledger. He was in some one of those movies. They make out in a haystack, and they won best kiss. In, uh, that was that MTV was the cowboy War. movie, wasn't it? No, no. Uh, what cowboy movie? The the cowboy movie, with Jake Gyllenhaal. That didn't ever get best kiss at the MTV movie. Uh, Should have. Yeah, that's that broke back mountain. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Toby McGuire one time won best kiss for. <laughs> Which I would think he's an actually dignified actor and a, Toby Maguire, an intelligent guy, but he won Best Kiss for Spider Man. <laughs> ah, it's because it was that upside down yeah. fucking whatever but kiss. They made fun of it. There's a really funny In movie called Tropic Cancer. Uh, what is it? No, sorry, Tropic. Oh. What is it called? Tropic Thunder. Oh that yeah, movie yeah, called yeah, Tropic yeah. Thunder, and they're That's introducing Toby Maguire, and they go like, Oscar winner and Be- MTV Best Kiss Movie Award, Toby Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> Was it? Yeah, MT, MTV Best Kiss Movie MTV Award. MTV Best Kiss Movie Award winner, Toby Maguire. Is he an Oscar winner? I think he got something for something for Cider House Rules, but I don't think he got an Oscar. He just got something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's always funny to me some of those people fucking win shit, man. Mm. You know, Toby Maguire's you... not screwing around. He's a, he's a he's an intelligent and good actor. Toby Maguire? Yeah, I don't think he's intelligent. I think he's made his money and he doesn't give a shit about doing it anymore. Well, he did that horse movie, Sea Breeze or some shit. Sea Biscuit? Sea Biscuit. Yeah, I never saw it. <laughs> I actually biscuit. hate horses. I hate horses. And I'm horse terrified culture. of horses. They're just, oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that about you. No, I'm, not, I'm I just, terrified of horses. Are you? Big black eyes, oh, giant wobbling They're so asses. powerful. They're disgusting. And they're so powerful. They're so powerful and dumb. And they'll, they'll, I mean, I don't think they're dumb. I think they're actually quite intelligent, and I think they don't put up with shit, and that's why they What do you think is more intelligent? Off. Like a buffalo, a camel, a horse, all those equines. I think a horse is, is probably... Everyone thinks that horses are trained and domesticated. I think horses got to be the fucking dumbest ones. Uh, I think camels I think camels got a good set of brains on them. I, I think a ho- No, I don't think a camel does. I think a camel is so dumb it couldn't find water, so nature gave it a hump full of water. No. That's, well, that, I think they're that dumb. No. I think buffalo, herd mentality, not that bright. I guess if you're a herding animal, you're probably not very smart. But, I mean... Pack, herd, same thing. Eh, Dogs pack, are smart. Pack, pack's different, though. Pack's like a, a group of six, and they, they use the benefit of the six. Yeah. Not to, like, deter, yeah. but to actually hunt. Yeah, okay. And yeah. that's different. There's, like, See, smarts Buffaloes there. are just like, let's just... Buffaloes are like, uh, I don't like know, a, like let's all stick together. Yeah, land. like, yeah. let's all stick together. Yeah. And that's just, like, they're scared. 
All right. Well, I I still think horses. I think, are I think stupid. horses are pretty. I don't smart. want to be around them. Anymore. I think there's. I think they're really smart, and I don't trust them. And it was a friend of a friend of a friend got kicked in the fucking head by a horse. Walked behind him, killed. Really? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what that's we were just kids, of. and it was like going to the cottage, and we're like, "Where's Eric or whatever the fuck his name was?" And it was like, he got kicked in the head by a horse. He got killed. Jesus. Yeah. Walked behind a horse. And, and, he was was like, and he's like, oh, he knew what he was doing around horses. Like, he grew up around horses, and this horse just fucking had enough one day. or what, It just felt like it was disturbed. You get kicked in the temple, out cold. And I was with his dad. I remember I was with his dad when I asked where he was. And he's like, oh, Eric, Eric died. I'm like, why? He's like, he got kicked in the head by one of our horses. And you were with that kid's dad? Yeah. Wow. How old were you then? I was probably like eight, nine. And I Jesus. just asked, like, where's Eric? Where's Eric this year? Because I just go up to this cottage. Yeah. Yeah. Kicked in the head by a horse. How was the dad there? He because he had a cottage up where we used to where our, my I used uh, to go and visit this cottage with a friend of a uh, my okay family. yeah right. So we go up to this cottage and this oh, there's always this kid Eric on a like an eight wheeler or sorry eight wheeler four wheeler eight wheeler eight wheeler yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> badass. He had a World War Two tank. <laughs> um, yeah, but he, caterpillar but he, of yeah, vehicles. He came, yeah, he came came over or whatever, and I said like, "Where's this kid?" And Eric, I don't even know what his name was. And then it's like, yeah, you got kicked in the head by a horse. So crazy, yeah, man. I fucking hate those animals. And I, I remember like, getting... Do you think it was from that moment? That no, because you... I remember going to... Uh, I grew up in Keswick, like going to uncles and aunts places in Keswick, and I'd always go to like horse farms with them, and I fucking hated them. These giant animals, because I'd be all of like three or four feet tall. And, you know, these huge, this, they, these like three foot heads coming over the thing, and they'd like point their heads down at you and go and you'd yeah like, oh just feed him some hay like no i remember like, feeding one an apple and like it's being fucking afraid heads that long, my yeah. hand would yeah would go into the mouth yeah, of course their heads are longer and than they were always, and everyone's always like hold your hand flat hold your hand flat <laughs> and yeah. it's just like i'm yeah. like i can't get it any flatter yeah and then the, other times they'd be facing the other way and they'd walk up and they'd take take a brush and brush yeah. their tail and their their asses would shake and there was always From flies. flies and always shit. flies yeah. on their asses. Yeah, or they shit had, all over the place. And if they were facing you, they had these big black dead eyes. They That's like, like shark eyes. Man. Don't know. Yeah, exactly. You don't know where they're looking. Like, yeah. uh, 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 it's just like a, I hate them. I so, hate them. Number so, one most hated speaking animal. Of sharks. Horse. Yeah. No. Number one most hated. Yeah. For me, horse. And I'd take a snake and a spider. Just because you hate them, or yeah. because you like you're you're kind of afraid. I'm, of them. I'm fucking terrified of horses. Wait, now, okay. What would you be more afraid of? Yeah. Uh-huh. You're in a field, yeah. circle of horses around you, yeah. or you're in the ocean, circle of sharks. Sharks, man, if you don't behave like, if you don't behave like uh, typical sea life, yeah, I think, I think I'd be okay with sharks. I would just start oh, slowly. I, would just, I, have, I, would just I have chills thinking about paddle it. Paddle like a human. But like, something actually similar happened to me as well. Really? <laughs> I was, yeah, I was at a bush party and my friends wanted to go to a neighboring farm and start fucking with the cows. And yeah, so uh, what happened was that the cows dumb. the cows started stampeding, and they literally started stampeding in a circle around us. And I was <laughs> I was lucky enough to like find a gap and get the fuck out. Yeah, and my friend had torn like a really big branch off a tree, and he was like screaming at these cows, really trying to get them away from. Great, and t- well, you know he's he's also like, he's trying to agitate them. Yeah, he's really trying to like get up their asses because that's what we we're doing. We we're going out there fucking with the cows, and now there's like. I don't know, like maybe 30 or 40 cows literally stampeding in a circle around us. And I found a bit of a gap in them, and I ran out and jumped the fence and got Look out. Look, he didn't get trampled. Man. And jumped over the fence, looked back, and he is just like standing there with a big branch in his hand screaming at these cows. Oh with balls of steel. Because I was, I was just drenched in sweat, and he's having a laugh like this is nothing. Again, he had no knowledge of what he was doing. He yeah. grew up in a suburb like me. So, yeah. yeah. He knows who he is. If he and he actually he listens. <laughs> Does he to listen this. to this? He listens to this. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> so you know, kudos. Balls of steel there at like fourteen or fifteen years old. That's Can't awesome. Yeah. So yeah, just terrified of equine animals. I mean, for me, it's sharks, man. I that terrifies me. The idea sharks of nothing. Uh, I don't know. Just like uh, more so, just like the unknown. Especially we watched this. Uh, we watched an episode of that Blue Planet the other day. Yeah. It might have been a little bit high too, but we watched a little bit of Blue Planet and yeah. uh, we put it on. It was like fully dark. We're watching this fucking and it's just going down deep into like Mariana's Trench. Oh, uh, yeah. You get and, the anglerfish. Oh, you get these yeah. fucking crazy looking like alien fucking things. Yeah. The, uh, the devil, the devil squid. The devil squid's wild. 
I, I don't remember the yeah. names of any of them, but there were, like some of the some of them like the the thing that blew my mind the most was mm-hmm. the fish that had one fish had a clear head. Yes, so, oh, and, it's got one uh, with and it's basically two big eyes, two big yeah, eyes, yeah. and the head is clear so yeah. it can look up yeah. through its that head. That's insane. Yeah, that's that awesome. I, I just can't believe there's footage. That, that, that thing. All right, take a pause. I want to talk about that for for a minute. I got to take a pee. <laughs> oh, there's my game. Right. So. So you're back, and that so that fish that fish is wild. Yeah, enough of that. Like, okay, like I could talk about that fish for an hour, or like let's not even talk about it because it's upsetting. It, it is one of the it, like I just anything that we it was in that episode. It's the first episode, mm-hmm. Blue Planet Two. Go check it out. It's yeah. fucking awesome. But anything that was down there blew my mind. Yeah. It was just like crazy. That fish alone. There was some other weird squid that had one green eye on one side that looked up. Yeah, had a tiny eye in the bottom, eye big eye in the bottom. In the back, right? Because it needs to absorb the light from the top. Right? And it's there's just, such little yeah. amount of light. There was yeah. fucking toads down there. It was like a fish toad. <laughs> yeah, so it, weird. Yeah, it's a fish with legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you're not watching Blue, that's Planet, the world's yeah. laziest fish. <laughs> I don't know by far. What it about has the flounder? To be. What about the one that literally evolved to lay on its side? Have you seen that one? Oh, yeah, that it's doesn't a- even have legs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it is like um, it lays in the dirt. I'm lay down here. I got a yeah. big enough mouth. Second laziest fish then yeah. is that toadfish. All right, so I got I got something that I wanted to bring to your attention. This is mm-hmm. this is what we're gonna do. So you're gonna be mm-hmm. one of the world's greatest oil drillers. Yes. Okay. I know exactly what my niche is here. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you're an oil driller, me, one of the yeah. world's one of the world's best, uh-huh. and I'm gonna enlist you for a job. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, All right. Well, I'm gonna have to hear more about this job before I sign up. But. All right. So, Justin, thank you so much for coming in. We've uh, no problem. I was just having sex with a bunch of chicks. Well, I mean, I'd imagine that's probably how that goes because what, what you're an incredible oil driller. What? That's what you do. Drilling's what you do best. That's and that's do. actually kind of why we uh, we pulled you in here today. Mm-hmm. So welcome. Uh, thanks for coming down. Have a seat in the office here. Thank you. We, Is uh, it okay if I bring my Aerosmith album? Uh, yes. Best stuff? Okay. Yeah. 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 So uh, we have a, a proposition for you. We really didn't know who to turn to. Uh, we had nobody that we could even imagine could solve this predicament for us. Yes. Uh, I, think, uh, I think I know what you're getting at. Have you heard it? Have you heard it on the news? So there's this there's this thing there's it's it's a rather large deal, mm-hmm. uh, and it's flying towards Earth. Mm-hmm. We uh, you know we have mm-hmm. no idea how we're supposed to solve it, and we've put all of our resources and I mean all of NASA's resources mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. 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 to see how we can solve this, mm-hmm. and the only thing we can come up with is. Who's the world's best oil driller? Well, I have an idea. What about me and my ragtag crew of uh, uneducated uh, spaceflight dudes? Um, yeah, have you guys ever been? Oh, that's what I want to. Have you guys mm-hmm. been to space? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. Well, that might be. Uh, in fact, we have uh, n- uh, no physical training whatsoever to take on. Uh, are you guys in shape? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, ah. Most of us are alcoholics, or, or at least Ooh, that could, be or at least uh, braggadocious uh, smokers. Um, Okay, yeah, that's also going to cause. I think a bit at least like four or five guys in my crew wear uh, bandanas or neckerchiefs. Ah, and I have a very, I have a very uh, trepidatious animo- uh, I have a lot of animosity with my my son in law right now. So, uh, what? Did, did well, you- okay, so yeah, like what we're going to ask you to do? We, well, this is you know, this is a bit, might be a bit much. We mm-hmm. did want to see. We we're really hoping that maybe you'd have some space experience, none. but you know, if that's not none. the case, none. I guess, you know, oil drillers, there's not much oil in space, eh? Hey? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I mean, oh, I wish, because I'd be there. If there was oil there, I'd be yeah, there. My crew yeah, would be so, there. Uh, yeah. Bad news, mm-hmm. no oil. Not going to find any oil. Yeah, yeah, but good news, good news is you're going to save Earth. All right. Uh, so uh, I wanted to lay down a couple ground rules. Give it to me. Uh, you don't want to close your eyes. <laughs> you don't want to fall asleep, because you don't want to miss a thing when this happens. Uh... <laughs> But uh-huh. you're going to save Earth. Uh-huh. You might have to leave somebody up there, mm-hmm. maybe. Um, I hope you have a couple maniacs might want to stay. Yeah. Uh, or or you, maybe yourself. Well, I mean, I have a guy that was obsessed with strippers. Uh, and, uh, well, we have our token giant black guy, uh, heavy lifter. And then we have okay, our good. You need, guy. you need a heavy lifter? Yeah, we need one. We're very grunty. Yeah. Um, 
I, I mean, if you look at me right now, I have sort of. Do you have any face. family members you can bring, and also, have, yeah. Well, yeah, I have a, like that son-in-law I mentioned. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and my, I have my daughter who's not supposed to be dating him, and I've encouraged against it. But I think we're gonna bring him along. Okay, and uh, you know, I'm sure we can split uh, a, a meteor in half. Hey, whatever you think might work. I mean, you know what? We've got the world's greatest scientists, <laughs> but we're willing to just say, like, what do you think? Let's give it up to an oil team here. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, you're the oil drillers. Yeah, we're, <laughs> let's, we're so, the authority here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have coal on my face right now as I speak, as you can tell. Yeah, well, yeah. You, oh, I just I got you here from work, and I sent you that limo. Yeah, so. and again, if you look at my crew behind me. I mean, again, neckerchiefs, bandanas. One yeah. guy's holding a, a, a can of something. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll take the contract. Okay, right. say, this is good news for us and the Earth. But uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a self sacrifice at some point during this. Ooh, that's gonna be a real tearjerker. No, you know, it's probably for my daughter's sake. Mm. Like, look, let's let, let's just look past this. You know what though? Mm-hmm. Sounds like an Oscar to me. All right, cheers, cheers. cheers. All right, to a good meeting. It's a, it's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's the story of Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I know. Never seen it. Never seen it. Never seen it. Never seen Shawshank Redemption. Fuck off. No, oh, it's, my, it's my. I've never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Starring Tobey Maguire. Well, that's uh, it, potentially the second implausible movie points. Which one? Well, the first one might be the implausible fugitive. Uh-huh. Uh, I like that, that one. Might not see the light of day. We'll see. I'll see if I can edit that one in. Uh, well, I wish we could talk about Godfather, but you're a fucking asshole. Who hasn't watched Godfather? Godfather's not implausible, though. Well, there's a problem in Godfather. <laughs> there's one problem in it. Mm. I guess you have to watch Godfather and Godfather Two. But there's this. You got to see both. There's a 1970. Yeah, we had to see both. There's the third one as well. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I'm aware. I've been told not to bother watching the third one. Uh, yeah, I've been told that too. Uh, you yeah. watch them anyway. They're all just they're all as yeah. valuable as the last. The, the second one's the best one, but there's there's a problem with the second one where there's this mob boss uh, who goes around and muscling everyone in nine, uh, 1917 in early uh, Bronx in New York, and uh, there's a problem where like he just walks around wearing like a white hat and a white suit and going like noche, and then walks around. People give him an orange. You know, this, he walks through the downtown. I've seen that parody. You've seen it in yeah. The Simpsons where, like, Homer gets a donut. Yeah. That, that's the guy they're playing off of. And you're, he's walking around and everyone respects him. Oh, Don Avoci, a black hand, uh, give you you. And they just give him stuff. And, yeah. Uh, thank you. And he, I guess he's selling protection. He's a bit of a mob boss. At, at no point do you ever see any muscle behind this guy. Or <laughs> it's just like, if anyone just squared this guy in the nose, <laughs> there would be no consequence to it. Really? To what I can tell. Just like, yeah, he's like, okay, what if you punch him in the fucking nose and knock him on the ground? Uh, I mean, a community of like 70 could take this guy out. So the whole movie? No, it's like, I think it's like, let's call it a 40 minute, the movie jumps around like a Tarantino movie almost, where it's okay. like, okay, jump back to why. That's, is that Scorsese? Yes. So it's, well, I hope I'm right about that, but yes. Um, yeah, I don't know. It might be kind of old. I don't bother with directors. It's a Scorsese film as far as I know. Um, <laughs> I hope you're wrong. I, oh, it's going to hurt like hell. But I don't care at the same time. So, it's yeah. like, okay. but, so there's this mob boss walking through, you know, down to New York, always muscling people, always getting cash. He walks around getting $20 or people, which is today's standard, probably $200 to $1,000 yeah. in 1917. Yeah, he's, getting, he's getting paid off. Yeah. I'm just giving this guy money for protection. And then uh, Robert De Niro's character, uh, a young Robert De Niro, he's playing a very young uh, godfather before he's the godfather. Robert De Niro decides, I'm going to kill him in a hallway in a stairwell. But you're like, yeah, fucking easy call. Wait, like, Robert De Niro wasn't in The Godfather. Yes, he was. He played young uh, Marlon Brando. And Marlon Brando played The Godfather. And then and so Al who did Al Pacino played, play? Al Pacino played the Godfather's son, who became the new uh, Godfather. Okay, yeah, Michael right. Corleone. They were, I thought you were yeah. mixing up Al Pacino. Yeah. There was Vito and Corleone, Michael Corleone, uh, and okay. yeah, yeah. So sorry to interrupt. That. That's fine. I mean, I'm the one who hasn't seen it. So yeah, and the fact that you you're absorbing really yeah. well despite having never seen it. It's pretty upsetting that you haven't seen that movie. I, I know it's one of those. It's one of those movies that, and I mean, like 
I've seen parts of, but I've never fully seen uh, Braveheart, like <laughs> front and back. Yeah, it's foolish. It yeah, is. it's like one of those movies that the... just like you miss the boat on, and it's just like I just oh, never... oh that's what I said about Goonies. I missed yeah. the boat, the boat on like, the no nostalgia. Never went back and... I remember yeah, watching I that shit like back to back with dudes being like, "Watch this! This guy's gonna hit, get hit with a mace in the face." Like I've watched getting that off on that scene. Shit when we were kids, yeah. I we wore out a tape rewatching <laughs> that scene because you could when, yeah. when slow mo came out, you could watch the body yeah. get swapped out for a dummy. Yeah, and we were like, "Oh, watch! It switches from a person, 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 dummy, we, and then the straw we head gets smashed off." Like, there, there was a there's a scene where a guy gets hit by a horse. And I, we're pretty sure that guy got hit by a fucking horse. Like that guy, there's there's no faking yeah. what happened there. This guy got hurt, and the camera oh was in the right God. spot. Yeah, oof, man, I fucking hate I hate a horse, man. Um, you know what's really huge right now? Did you watch that uh, that Fry Festival documentary on Netflix? Oh, fire! Or sorry, fire Fry, Fry. Festival. I used to say it the local, the, the local dyslexia in me festival. just fucking yeah, fire festival. I watched the Netflix one. I didn't watch the Amazon. Yeah, I didn't watch the Hulu one either. I heard it wasn't as good as Netflix, and that's good enough. What happened is, is that apparently they tried to fuck with Netflix, and they secretly made it and then released it two days before Netflix came out. Netflix's Fire Festival one came out. Uh, so Hulu knew Netflix was making yes. one, and they were like, oh, let's make ours. No, I haven't watched the Hulu or whatever the other I one I heard was. it's it's some of the same and not as good. Well... If you watch the Netflix one, they have, like, exclusive, what I would think is exclusive footage of, like, that Billy McKenna or whatever his name is. Yeah. Like, of him hanging out in his apartment saying dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do they have, how do they have that material? Doesn't he possess that material? Uh, like, why is that allowed that he has it? Well, you know, the way that I feel like that happened, because, like, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Like, they're like, he just wanted to film everything. Right, and they say that in it. They're like, he wanted to film everything. Like, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep filming, and then he'll say like, turn it off now. And so (laughs) that that sounds like it's his footage. Yeah. And so the only thing I can think of, and they probably left his name off, or there's a pseudonym or something on there. Mm. He probably produced that movie. Oh, you think he's a production right on it? Why would he not? Yeah. The guy's a swindler and a money making fucking fiend. So I'm fucked. I'm completely fucked. I've fucked everything up I possibly can. Mm-hmm. This story is pretty famous. I've got a buttload of fucking film. Yeah. Like this yeah, footage. You're right. What do I you're do with it? Right. Yeah. Oh, I'll make money off making a film about my failure. I guess you check the rights, but you, you can, yeah, but you can you maybe just, ghostwrite. You can you ghostwrite can, It's that. just like ghostwrite. Like, yeah. fucking, yeah. What's his face? Uh, it could just Stephen go to some production company. It could go to like... ETMI Productions, and you're like, oh, what, yeah, what, yeah, what that is? Eat and my motherfucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eat, yeah, and it can be a sub thing of his. And yeah. he owns that company. So he probably everything. made money off selling that footage. I bet you're you, right. yeah, he probably made Off of incriminating himself, because he's already been incriminated, so it would yeah. be well, like, double jeopardy he did or get, something. I think he got... He's getting five years. He got five years or something? Yeah. Now, look, I'm I'm conflicted on all that, because here's what yeah. happened. Is He's a, a dumb, ambitious asshole who right. decided, I'm going to throw a festival it doesn't know anything about how to do it he did what a tried swimmer. it was obvious that he tried to re- remedy the situation the entire time i mean he i there's no doubt in my mind that he wanted it to be a success yeah he yeah. believed it was going to be a success he he took eight weeks to do what people take two years to organize yeah and then they realize that that's not gonna happen fuck off cancel it Get out. There's no doubt in my he mind. Still that he still tried to remedy it. And tried just, to make it happen. You see him stand up on a table and be like, guys, I'm sorry. Every man for himself, go get some tents and <sighs> we'll get some food to you. We're going to try. Like, he, I, I really feel like he didn't want that to happen. He was overconfident about his abilities and he just. I think, and he's, he definitely didn't show it. He's just like, nope, this is going to work. I'm going to be positive. Yeah. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to be positive. Yeah. And, like, you tell yourself that enough and all of a sudden you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, well, that's the thing. I, 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 he's part of the uh, what we get. We, we get called millennials. He's 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 one of those people yeah. who they just think like work isn't work. Work is a bunch of yeah. meetings and ideas and creativity. But you have to realize that at some point, there's got to be boots on the ground and work being yeah. done. And like uh, he like doesn't lofty get that fucking goals, like lofty goals, really lofty goals, and completely yeah. like ignorant to what it actually takes <laughs> to do something. Yeah. The yeah. worst part about suit, all that, like world class sushi chefs, but we don't have we don't have running water here. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have a world class sushi yeah. chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like, 
even I think they said like there's there was two f- uh, fire festivals. There was the one where they shot the film, yeah, like, uh, the commercial, which was like the one with ja all night and party and whatever and else. Nine bikini models, yeah, ja and they just and some party on a fucking yacht yeah. with like the world's greatest chef. And, and they could have left it at that. You know what? They were already success successful at that point. They could have left crazy. it at that entirely. He was probably you know rich for the rest of his life if he had left his life alone from that point on. You that probably, app they wanted. The reason they were doing that festival was to of the fire to promote credit card. Thing, the, yeah. the the fire. No, it was an app to basically. It was like the Uber of oh booking, of artists, that's booking what it artists, was, yeah. right? And but I he mean, also like, started a credit card company before that. Yeah, before that yeah. he had that. Which he had, he had a winning idea. A lit, yeah, but that that idea is actually really good. Solid they idea. Fuck up the fucking festival. It was actually a pretty good idea. Could you imagine? Like, I'm rich, Mike. I mm-hmm. got a field and fucking. Keswick, yeah. but I got fifty grand. I want to throw in a party. I can book Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, and that's fair. Like, and, and Blink, but, pretty pretty. I rad. mean, but, and Blink One Eighty Two has to have their their stipulations listed there. Like, we yeah. need at least five thousand people to be at a show if before we play it. Stuff like that. And you that's think fine. you couldn't have them be there? Like, they, that's that. That's no problem. You know, and I it's guess. probably more than fifty thousand. I'm sure it's probably fucking five, ridiculous. Say, say five thousand people. Probably, say like yeah, yeah. It's probably something ridiculous, yeah. like a million dollars, but. Being able to cut out mm-hmm. the booking agent that takes twenty percent, or whatever the fuck they take, is so much better. I don't even know what at that point they take. It's yeah. probably insane. I but. guess it shows that the way things worked, they worked the way they did for a, a good reason. <laughs> they were trying to bypass a lot of stuff, and they realized, well, there's a lot of middlemen because a lot of middlemen sort shit out. Like yeah. they're, they're taking yeah. a cut for a reason. You can't just say like, "Well, it's digital now. It's all digital." <laughs> just, just yeah, I mean, like a, setting like, it up. Like that guy. That guy production. was like talking to uh, you know swampies and. But and, if he was trying to do it anywhere other than the island in fucking Bahamas or wherever the fuck they were, Barbados, yeah. like, who knows? It, they probably would have made it work. Well, I mean, you the, know what I mean? Like, just we didn't imagine have a like lofty they, goal like that. The, the date they booked was like the worst literal date of the entire year you could book it was during some festival on mm-hmm. the Barbados coast where like there's no buses ships anything yeah they didn't even try they're just a bunch of fucking dickhead rich kids yeah that's really what it was who could talk he guy must have been able to fucking talk fucking six years man anything. like he's not a, he's not a real criminal he he didn't he didn't rob anyone of importance he didn't he didn't rob I, that uh, just debatable because I mean a few of those people he used them like that one lady fucking put out fifty grand. Yes, okay, that's true. You know what I mean? Like she's the got lo- no the locals, the locals, the locals and like got robbed. Yeah. They are robbed. Like yeah, they got, full on tough. got robbed. Okay, sorry. The people and, that, people that and bought that stuff. The the people that bought tickets that got nothing yeah. that they were promised, they were robbed. Well, okay, robbed, robbed. Okay, I mean, you know, I mean, like, you are, you are responding. There is a buyer beware thing still to this day. Sure, all right, that still exists. Yeah, it's like yeah, all those, you know, when you get those Instagram ads, and it's like, check out this fucking cool little sketch, whatever, or this flashy globe, and you get in the mail, and it's a piece of fucking shit. I bought I, I bought you. a brand new TV one time for $30, and it, the remote didn't work. Yeah. And this didn't work. Yeah. It didn't even have nothing the same you, name. nothing on, you do about it. The name of the remote wasn't the same name as the TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? that's just buyer beware. Yeah. Shit like that happens. You're a dumb yeah. consumer. You're a dumb consumer. A rich kid is quickly parted with their money. I don't have any pity with them. I'm sure no one does. Of course, what ripping off all those people on the island. I mean, I, I don't think. I him, felt so bad for that lady. What, I, I, what yes. I did find out. She got a Kickstarter and all that stuff. Did you hear about that? Yeah, she got, she like got like a couple, hundred, grand couple hundred thousand. Yeah. 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 So, but Good, because she deserves it. Great. I hope she disperses it properly. I'm sure she will. Now. I think when you look at it, though, like, okay, uh, an idiot's quickly departed with their fortune. Fine. That's just fun justice. I like that stuff. Yeah. I, I don't think him spending time in jail serves any purpose. I think him just, like, paying reparations would have been like, okay, here's your prison sentence. You are a shithead investment banker, and you don't keep anything. You live in well, a I The a rest of apartment. what happened and there is why he's... Everything. The rest of what happened there is why he's going to jail. Like, that part near the end where he, like fucked people over yeah, and he kept going and going and, and going. kept going like yeah. he had somebody else calling and and calling his mailing list that he had to that was sell bizarre. them shit yeah like so like selling selling tickets to uh to things that like, don't exist and like stuff Tiff like festival and yeah i'm just gonna beer like yeah it was uh, so, yeah it's bizarre he couldn't get himself out no you can get positive 
Still passionate about that topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seamless, seamless delay there. But uh, yeah, I, like I said, I think sometimes jail time doesn't really serve a purpose. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think, I, I don't know. I feel like somebody who's like that, because mm-hmm. like, I, I, not that I know this person, but sometimes you feel like you know these people. Yeah. You're like, oh, I know this type of person. Yeah. And I don't think that you can change that. Like, not without, like, he'll, serious... He'll be, a, he'll be a lifetime crook, but what happened was he was a lifetime crook in the public eye. He, he could have he yeah. just been, like, a regular investment banker and a lifetime crook and got away with it, but he decided to go with a popular route and yeah. hang around with Ja Rule. Maybe, yeah. And, you know, he got called on it. He went too big, yeah? You know? Yeah. His flames flashed too high. <laughs> the phoenix flew too close to the too sun? Too close to the sun, or whatever? It was yeah. a phoenix. It wasn't no, a phoenix. The... Icarus. Icarus. Yeah, Icarus Gr- flew too close. Flew too close. Because they made him, they made him uh, wings out of wax. Oh, that's a dumb idea. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's a, real, it's a, hot, a hot day. He flew. You don't even have to be flying. <laughs> hot day on the beach he and flew. your fucking <laughs> shit's going to go hey, up. Hey, man, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to show this shit off, man. At the beach, are you sure they're made of wax? I'm fine. Yeah, no, nah, they're good, man. Fine. They're good. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he ordered those? Like, was it like, ah, uh, yeah, we got normal wings, we got steel I think was wings. He's like, how much are the steel wings? They're like, uh, they got a pretty hefty price. Nah, nah, I don't need it that. It was one of those. We uh, got like a, it was like a monkey paw wish. It was one of the, it's got a catch every time. Oh, he so wished for wings. He got them. And they're like, yeah, we got you some cool shit. My God. We got you the world's greatest. Well, what's the catch? No wax catch. Wax wings. No catch. No. Yeah. We got you the world's greatest wax wings ever. Mm-hmm. Be careful. No. Yeah. It's, well, that's what happens. Be careful. Getting a lot of those, um, I don't know, telemarketer calls, but they're not telemarketer calls. They're, uh, they're, they're scam they're scam calls. I, I got one of those today. I get about six or seven a day Holy right now. Shit. And they're all from WestJet. I got, got a WestJet one yeah. today. So they're all claiming yeah. to be from WestJet. Yeah. And uh, I kept the guy on the line for about 45 minutes. Mine was automated. Yeah, but once, once you go through it, and I said yes, and then yes, and then yes. And it's like, put me through to somebody. And I, oh, and I, really? Yeah, I would have done that. With, I fucked with the guy for like 45 minutes. That would have been fun. Yeah. I would have done that. And just saying like, well, I'm thinking like, maybe I should book a trip for like me and 20 of my friends. And then they put me through to another guy. And then, so now I'm talking, to, I'm telling the same story to that guy. And then they put me through to another guy. And now I'm talking to like this lead guy. And you, literally, there was one point in the background, I heard this, someone go fucking nuts in the background because someone made a sale, Right. And just people went fucking explosive. And the guy goes, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, another satisfied customer in the background. Uh, we just made, we, you know, we, uh, he didn't want to say we just made a sale. He just wanted to say, like, another satisfied customer in the background. Sorry. Uh, really? Yeah. So, uh, I, again, spent about 45 minutes on the line with the guy. And uh, I go, oh, you know what? I got a call on their line. Can you hold for a second? And I go to the other line, and it's literally another WestJet call. Are you kidding yeah. me? So I put it on three-way calling. And it's like, oh, sorry, I want to conference this call. So I conference the call, and I bring it back in. And I go, hi, uh, I got WestJet calling on the other line. I guess you know you guys know each other? And the guy goes, uh, what are you trying to do here, sir? And I'm like, I'm just trying to make a deal. And they both hung up immediately. And I was like, so unsatisfied, because I thought it would be some explosive situation. Yeah, the two of them kind they of. They just totally busted each other, and they're like, fuck, hang up now. I was such a bummer. Um like they probably were like, yeah. Look at each other. Yeah, they just stop, look at each other for a second. Fucking assholes. Uh, yeah. But what's saddening to me is that I actually heard a sale get made in the background. Like that's what the sad fucking part. fool. Like and then that's and the sad part. That's why these part. scams exist because one in fucking one in a thousand falls for it, and you get when they fall for it five thousand dollars. You have their credit card number. You have everything. You can scam the shit out of them and do anything. You know what though, and like. I feel bad. I even said, like, some fucking idiot. And, like, it's sometimes it's just so easy to fall for that kind of thing. Especially if you, Mm. you, like, if you don't, like, I had the one call from WestJet today, and I contemplated. I was like, did I sign up for something? No, come on. And, like, I honestly (laughs) did. Like, like, for a minute, I was like, did I? And I was like, no, this is fully a scam. I was like, wait a minute, this is 100% a scam. But, like, I just for a beat, like, just a little beat went, you know, like. I guess that's okay. uh, because I mean, it's the first call I ever had. I didn't have like a boatload yeah. of them calling me, and I've even had so I, at every day at work I talk about like scamming and phishing emails to mm-hmm. people and customers and all that and all, even all you. day long. 
And then I went on break one day, and this was like five, six years back, and I got an email. I was leaving on break. I'm checking my – and like I got oh, a couple of emails. I check my email, and it's like somebody purchased this app, and they're close to Sarasota, Florida, or whatever the hell this is. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's even in Florida. And I was just like – I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, I wouldn't have bought this app. I was like, fuck, who the fuck bought this app? And like yeah. I was sitting there, and I was like debating. I'm like, oh, maybe like – somebody else on my account and i was like thinking about it for a second i was like oh fuck no this is yeah. a fucking scam and i like right. look at it, i was like god damn it like i i tell people all day long not to fucking fall for this and not meanwhile, even a, and meanwhile guess, there is. yeah barely a scam though i mean maybe it was a scam it probably was a scam oh it was a scam because it, it, it said like if this was not you yeah. click here and verify your apple id and password i, I, like, I fell into one that wasn't a scam but i fell into it because my after the house burned down, I was like, I don't have any clothes, right? Yeah. And I don't want to go shopping all the fucking time. I got to go back to work. And yeah. there's this uh, company called Frank and Oak. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure you, everyone gets inundated by these guys all oh, the yeah. time. Yeah. I know people that love that place. I signed up for it, mm-hmm. right? And I get this box of clothes, and I'd be like, oh, it's a... And I, I, I remember I wrote out the preferences of my clothes and what I want, my measurements. Your style, and your size. Yeah. And, yeah. and I wrote everything out. And I was like, okay, maybe they'll send me some stuff. And they sent me a bunch of shit in a box. And I was yeah. like, okay, I would have taken this shirt if it wasn't 120 bucks. So I pack it all back up and send it back. And before they even refunded me, they charged me again for the next one coming in. And then what happened was I, I sent everything back. I started packing them up and sending everything back. I didn't even crack them. I was like, here's the thing inside for the return. I'd smack it, put it on the porch, and they'd take it back. Um, yeah. But I, I, it got to a point where they weren't refunding me. Or they never refunded me, and I wasn't really watching for it. That's what happened. And Bree took notice of it, and she's like, these fuckers are charging you, like, it, it's gone up. It started at, like, 100 bucks, and now they're charging you, like, 600 bucks a month. And they've not even, they haven't sent you a package in, like, half a year. And you're getting charged, like, 600 bucks a month. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I... I called them up, and uh, it was like a mile, uh, like miles, miles of work and talking on the phone for like an hour. Jesus And finally, Christ. I said, like, can you just call my wife and take her from here? Because uh, I, can't, I can't even deal with this right now. I had like a really important test coming up for my work and shit. <laughs> like, I can't take it anymore. This is fucked. And they had to send me like fucking $3,000. Jesus like, oh, Christ. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about everything. Because they hadn't sent me a package in over like half a year, and they were charging me like all this shit. Like, were they good about it? Were they like, they were oh, great shit, we about noticed? It. Like, okay. yeah. I mean, the, the that's whole good. Time, you didn't have like, to fight good about them for it. it. The whole, no, there was never a fight. But what it, what it was was, like, you are telling people, like, you do have to send me, like, $3,500. And that doesn't come easy to anybody. No. Yeah. So you had to, like, slowly justify it and explain to them, like, why. Jesus. And they're like, yeah. And I, at, at no point did they argue. It was just more like, yeah, can you prove it? Yes. Here it is. It's yeah. all there. Everything's there in email. Like, yeah, it's all there. And yeah. even I, I came to a point where I was like, I could have just kept all this shit probably, and they wouldn't have known. Yeah. I think they're a startup company. They're an ambitious company. They're a fire festival company. They're just like, look, we're going to do this. We can yeah. take this fucking shit by storm. I have people, I have people, Frank and Oak, like I remember like people that I worked with would show up, and they're all wearing these fucking same button-up <laughs> shirts. And I was just like... <laughs> So you guys will fucking shop at the same store and like, oh, I got this from Frank and Oak. I got this oh, from yeah. Frank and Oak. And I'm like, oh, you're all on fucking yeah. Frank. Yeah, I, uh, I yeah. know. Yeah, okay. And Maybe like, it was better people in Toronto or something, but out in the suburbs, it just didn't work. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I, I mean, I think you can just buy shirts on the website, too. But. Well, I'd like to announce our latest sponsor. Uh, we have uh, Frank and Oak as one of our latest sponsors. Uh, Sign up now. <laughs> Sign if you, up. you go to frankandoak.com slash dumpster shit. <laughs> Use the offer code. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Use the offer code. Give me back my money. <laughs> <laughs> Use the offer code. Extortionist. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> use it. Fire festival. <laughs> but that's exactly Hashtag what it was. Festival. And then, and I, I mean, I hope they're successful, really, because they have a good idea. There's another one. Well, just, they, are they? Do they still exist? I don't know. But there's one I signed up for. I, I didn't sign up for it. I just wanted to check it out. It, it was on um, 
like Shark Tank or whatever, mm-hmm. where you uh, you put on your underpants, and you stand there naked, and you do a 360 in front of your phone. You put your phone in the corner, and you do a 360 in front of your phone, and it takes your full measurements, right? Jesus, I didn't think that was even possible. Yeah, it's called M- MT. I forget what it was. But I have it in my phone right now currently because it was just like, well, I want to see what they do. But, uh, yeah, you, you, they take perfect measurements of you, and they send you stuff. But I'm, I, I, I said, like, well, I already have a lot of stuff. I don't need this shit. The only reason I had to justify signing for, up for that shit is that I had, like, seven T-shirts. Yeah, I mean, like, you were, like, looking for clothes quick and you needed yeah, something. And it's it's a pretty you. decent deal. I mean, 120 bucks for sure. I didn't realize it was that expensive for some of that shit. Yeah. But I that, thought the whole deal about getting stuff on the internet is getting it cheap. Where they scanned me on it was, like, every, like I, what, what's your preference? Like, a $30 shirt? Like, yes, that is my preference, a $30 shirt. And they'd send me $120 shirts in hopes that I would take them. Yeah. But I'm like, but there should be one $30 shirt in this box. Yeah. It was all $120 shirts. Decent. Yeah. It was all this shit that I couldn't possibly That's afford. That's the problem with having, like, you have a weird eclectic weirdo taste of yeah. shirts and things that you got. Yeah. You're never going to just find a place that has all your no. shit. So no. it's like, it's it idea. takes time to find that, and that's, you can't, ra- you can't rush that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because yeah. I, like, the amount of, uh, I, if only your place. There's didn't a lot burn of nostalgia down. in them clothes. Like I, I that's yeah. where I keep my nostalgia is in clothes. Sadly, yeah. But for for me, when I put on a shirt from the tenth grade, I was like, "This is fucking awesome." I'm yeah. so glad I still have yeah, my shirt, dude. I still have like I'd say my shirts. I don't keep any of those. I never had those shirts from that f- far back. The oldest shirt I the shirts I have like 2003, yeah. like the old band days. That's when I like I got so many shirts I don't know what the fuck to do with them. Yeah. And my plan is to make a quilt. I'm going to make, like, a fucking quilt out of it. Something I can fucking... That's a nice idea. Yeah, I don't know what that... I don't know what the fuck to do with them. Because our, fr- our friend, Mark, his mom would just, like, take his shirts and tear them in half, turn them into rags. Yeah. And I mean, Mark, Mark would be, that's like... That's the other option. Like, washing the car in the front yard, and his stepdad would be, like, throwing rags at him. He's like, that's my fucking... Yeah. It's my fucking no-effect shirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, and that's, that's super unfair. I lost a lot of shirts, though. So, touring as a band was, like... Yeah. You know, you'd, you'd play the show, you'd be sweaty as fuck when you're done, you'd take off your shirt, you throw in the van, and you get a new shirt, you yeah. put on deodorant and go do whatever. Yeah. And, like, you'd clean out the van, and you'd find this, like, crusty-ass old-ass shirt in the corner, and you'd be like, ah, oh, fuck, I just got that that night. Yeah. Yeah, I'd chuck it. Fuck. Chuck it. I, I'd see, I would never do that. I, was, I would keep it in a Ziploc. It'd be, like, moldy, yeah. fucking, and you're just like, ah. Or, had, or somebody else would chuck shirts. it. Yeah. Like, I would look at it and be like, I don't know whose shirt this is, chuck it. Yeah. But I'm sure somebody looked at my shirts and did the same thing and was like, yeah. ah, fuck it, chuck it. Oh, yeah. If someone so, throws my shirt, I, 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 I see red. Yeah. Some, I have the thing about clothes. If you, if you threw out a piece of my furniture, I'd be like, well, I'll get another piece of furniture. That would be fun. Yeah. There's no nostalgia to furniture for me. But for clothes? I don't know what the fuck is, is wrong with me. Like I, just, I mean, I still have them all because I love it. I have all my old fucking, like, my old band shirts, like, our friends' old band That's shirts, cool. every all these shirts from bands we toured with. And, like, mm. I'm going to put them on the – I'm going to put them on a quilt. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with the quilt. Yeah, like, I've never seen one of your shirts. Remember that old shirt you had for Summer Hero where, like, the cord was cut and it ran all the way around the shirt? Oh, uh, yeah. It's a really cool shirt. It's like an IV bag. It was really cool. And no, one of you have it. I don't have any of them. None of them. I know. You know what? I have one. I have a large shirt. Doesn't fit me at all. No. And it's got like a woman's head. It says summer. That's hero fucking on crazy. It. None of you have that. And shit. it's not even my favorite shirt. Why I designed you... it. I hate and it. And no one treasured it. Nobody. That's fucking crazy. It, you know what? It was one of those things where you're like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should keep one for myself. And you're like, what am I going to do with the shirt? <laughs> yeah, you're going to wear it. And you think the band's going to go on forever. You're like, I'm never going to wear my no, own band you're, shirt. You're just the, the audacity. At the time, at the time, you're like, oh, I'm never going to wear my own band shirt. I was 13 and I knew that you guys weren't going to last. But at the same time, you I, hope, I hope you did. We were 20s. We were Whatever in 20s. Whatever you were. I don't, but like, come yeah. on. I don't uh, know. It, like uh, we we had made money. We were paying some bills other with one our of those fucking shirts. We were paying bills with our band. You know, I think there was a, there was a a hint of the fact that maybe we could have done you something. Pay the van off with this shit. Yeah, something. yeah. I don't know. We we'd gotten advances. We'd yeah. made money. You know that kind of thing had happened. We are now. We're actually we're now on Apple Music. Your drummer was seventeen and had a full record deal. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. come on. I mean. Yeah, I look back on it. Maybe it did make sense, but you know, back then, like you're like, oh man, like this is a wicked shirt. I I, I should keep one. I don't. Cause it's true. Like you guys could have put in the like, okay, you know what? We are gonna be artists. We are gonna starve, and we are gonna make this work. You could probably be a really big band today. 
There's there's truth to that. Yeah, well, it's not the fact that we weren't willing to do that work. It was the fact that like there's shitty bands like Three Days Grace that started at the same time as you, and they are making a living playing music, and they are shit. Uh, and then you guys are talented, and you probably could have made it. I, who knows? I yeah. mean, like talented is subjective too. It takes like. One person could say you're the best, and the next person says you're not. Three Days Grace is not talented. Eh, there's talent in there somewhere for somebody. Yeah, and they're not. They're, they're not making money off nobody listening to their stuff. They're like 35 year old guys making teen angst shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, like, can you imagine being a uh, like writing lyrics for like 14 year olds? I'm trying and, to think and, of knowing that you're was that like that? I hey everything about you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Like, just shit. Or like, Are they still around? Yes. Oh, yeah? They're oh. making... I just heard them the other day. They're making more music You listen still. to the radio still. I'm, I'm on a construction site, man. Yeah, like, You gotta sucks. realize the shit they put on. It's I fun. can't even tell you the last time I listened to the radio. Oh, it, at, at, at a construction site, you'd think it'd be this, like, kind of a machismo area. Yeah? But it's, like, Justin Bieber and techno music cranked the whole time. Wow. And I'll walk around and, uh, hey, turn my fucking radio off. Turn my fucking radio off. And I'll go like, hey, it's broken. I turned it off. It's broken. It's not fucking broken. Like, well, I kept on playing Justin Bieber and I'm a 35-year-old man and you're a 35-year-old <laughs> man and your fucking stereo is playing Justin Bieber. And, I, I, and I'm, you know, not, I'm not confrontational, but I get to a point where after like nine hours, I'm like, no, like, I'm not let's play listening. something different. I'm not yeah. listening to this. And I'll just walk over and I'll, I'll hammer boot the stereo. Just like, boom, just fucking knock it off, whatever they got it on. And it's fucking smash on the ground. And I've, I've had guys come at me hard and be like, oh, fucking, you got, you're playing Justin Bieber. You're a grown man. And I've had guys like, oh, fuck, it's not my fucking fault. Fucking Bieber's a fag. You're like, well, I don't, I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to fucking listen to it. I gotta rather listen to silence. I'd rather listen to you like, scream and fucking say racist shit all day than that shit in the background. I'm not doing it. Jesus. But a lot of those confrontations, because like I'm one of the only people that does that. Does that. Yeah. Walking around boot note radios because <laughs> I can't take it. It's fucking horrible. Most people would let background music be no. background music. Fuck no. There's, there's there's songs I won't take when when Jovi comes on that song. Like, whoa 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 whoa. Jenny like the bar the bar. Like when I walk over, I'll just fucking knock the stereo. Really? Off. Oh yeah, I fucking knock it right off. I'm done. Like, wow. I, won't, I won't take it. That one of the worst songs in history. Uh, is that I kind of like song. that bass line. No, because him and his leather dance pants is fucking whoa, weird. But whoa, 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 whoa. you realize that goes around in the background the entire length of that song. It yeah, no, stop. I played that. It's the whole I song. That song. It, it, it doesn't whole stop. Song, no, that yeah. whoa whoa thing in the background doesn't stop. It is a voice. <laughs> whoa 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 I just I I didn't put on something else. I just fucking turned it off, and like six guys mouthed off. Whoa, fucking who turned off Jovi? <laughs> and one of the a couple who of the, turned off Jovi. Half of these guys are like uh, twenty six, and they're mouthing off about who turned off Jovi. I'm like, You're fucking not supposed to listen to Jovi. You're twenty six right now, listening to Jovi. Like I don't know. I, discovering I, it, you know what's weird is that. So I like you work with like twenty six year olds. I work with twenty six year olds. Mm-hmm. I work with a bunch of twenty year olds, mm-hmm. and they don't. Li- I like, work with high school dropouts. You work with hipsters that are actually in tune. Yeah, that's probably that live in Toronto. Yeah, that care about stuff that are cultured. And I don't. No, no, no wait, don't, wait, 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 wait. They're still wait. valuable people. Like no, construction workers are yeah. still good people. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. Yeah. but at the majority of music that I hear that people listen to and like they listen to other stuff and some of the people I yeah. work with listen to other stuff obviously it's all fucking that shitty ass hip hop oh the Dre auto fucking auto tune yeah yeah, wow. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah just shitty hip hop fucking that's Casio fucked. beats that's like fucked. just it's crazy <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> like so it's just that, like I, so oh I put on. God. So what I did yesterday, literally yesterday, I put on Jurassic Five, and it was oh, it was two guys it. that are like, they're like they they one guy listened to Tragically Hip only. He literally says, "I only listen to Tragically Hip." That's it. And the other guy, he put on his playlist, and it's like Puddle of Mud, Perfect Circle, oh, God. like 
just shit, just disturbed. This uh, yeah. amazingly bad bands. Yeah. And I put on Jurassic Five, and he's like, "I've I hate rap, but this is really good. Like, what is this? I'm like, it's Jurassic Five. This is actual rap music. He's yeah. Like, oh, I didn't know there's like a whole thing. And I was like, yeah, th- what you hear is shit. Like you yeah. don't because and I I was totally being like condescending to him like because of the rock you listen to I can tell you don't know what the fuck you're doing <laughs> and so I know you have no chance of listening to the actual proper rap and I was playing like Kid Koala and all this cool stuff and they're like this is fucking really cool and the guy listening to Tragic Labor is like this is fucking really nice I'm like yeah you have to broaden yeah, your like horizons beyond 102.1 and Q107 but these guys also speak out against radio stations they're like fucking 102 sucks man you're like what do you listen what to? Do you, what do you listen to? Like, fucking 107. I used to be in radio. I, I, I took college radio. I know that Q107 is a local rock station in in Ontario here. It's called Q107 Classic Rock Radio. No, not anymore. Whatever it's called. It's like, I don't even understand what it what it's played. They're played Nirvana. I guess well, Nirvana yeah, because might be it's, classic. Yeah, it's 20 years old. Ah, okay, fair. Once something's 20 to 30 years old is considered classic. But yeah. what happens is that their magazine shrinks. What their magazine literally is is... 800 songs. Yeah. I was there. I had the guy show me their catalog, a professional radio station. The rotation of music that they're allowed to play. 800 songs. And that's it. Imagine, like, approaching your, like, if if I want to start a radio station right now, and I have an iPod with 800 songs in it, and and ads coming out my ass, I I make $10,000 a month on ads. There it is. Done. Done. And then I can just do this. I yeah. can just talk into a mic. Yeah, but you don't even have to do this much work. This amount of talking that we've done would last you a week. Right. I know. Yeah. Just little, little segments. Can you believe Congress did that shit? <laughs> <laughs> just in case. <laughs> uh, looks like all our... What's like Pierre Trudeau did it again. And then just... Pierre T- Trudeau. With Justin Trudeau. <laughs> you know, I'm named after him. Hey, did you know that? Fuck off. I'm literally named You're after, named after I'm Justin Trudeau. I'm named after Trudeau. Justin Trudeau, yeah. My mom loved him so much. And they both loved... Uh, Isn't he younger than my you? My parents loved him. Well, my dad hated him, but loved him coming in. And uh, they... No, elect, wait. They, what, what, they wait both, a second. Yeah. I'm named after Justin Trudeau. How old is Justin Trudeau? Okay. Yeah, so like when a, you were born... Yeah. Born. He, like when you born. were born... When you were born, when you were birthed, born, born up, he was eleven years old. Yeah, you but I was named, named after him. Yeah, you were named after him. Yeah, I was named after him. Apparently, my mom had a crush on Pierre and thought that Justin's a beautiful name, and they, I was named after him. Wow. Yeah, that's that's wild. To my me. brother was named after my grandfather, and my sister was named uh, Shannon because so it's just it. a nice Irish name. Yeah. Are you Irish? Yeah. I don't know what you are. I thought you were Jewish. No. I'm not, I'm not actually Jewish at all. I, th- you're, I thought you were a part Jewish. No. Not, I'm not the slightest bit Jewish, but I have married in Jewish family. So growing up as a kid, I was the only one that had uh, ah. Jewish knowledge in like elementary school. Because there, no, there was not one Jewish kid in my entire like elementary school. And then when we got to high school, there was Jewish kids. But I was the Jewish kid. They thought that I was the Jewish kid that didn't have a Christmas tree one time and all this shit. So they all thought I was Jewish. And I also went to a Jewish camp one time, a Jewish summer camp, <laughs> which I didn't know was a Jewish summer camp. I went there. I didn't know. <laughs> Did your parents know you were going to? They a probably knew, but I didn't. But they didn't care. They probably, I probably got there for free. <laughs> as per, <laughs> as per cheap Scottish. And we were Scottish that and Irish. Seems- and so Scottish meets up with cheap as much as Jewish does. Scottish might be cheaper than Jewish people, really. Because Jewish people know how to make money. Scottish people just know how to be but poor. But I, I highly yeah. doubt that a Jewish camp would be free. I guarantee it wasn't. It was. This was an all out. Uh, I, what happened was I didn't sleep there. I said my aunts. So I bet you I got to go for free. So you showed up every morning. Everyone else got out yeah. of their tents, and you were getting dropped off. Yeah, I got in trouble there too. I got a knife. I got my Swiss Army knife confiscated off me. Wow, well, you were what? How old? Uh, probably like ten. It bring and a I had, knife. I had a uh, Swiss Army knife, and what happens is with the Swiss Army knife, some of the little more deluxe models, you can pull it a tiny little knife at one end and a big knife at the other. Yeah, and I held it like a almost like a brass knuckle, <laughs> like with a big knife coming out of one end and, and a, a small knife one coming out of the other end of my hand. Like held it like, isn't that cool? 
And then I got cornered by a counselor being like, Josh, we have to walk you off the property. <laughs> like, do you have a knife on you? I'm like, yeah. I had to get picked up and all this shit. It's like, I just thought it was cool. I didn't think it was. Uh, I wasn't going to stab anyone. Well, it's something. I, 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 maybe I, I don't know who I showed it to, like counselors or whoever I showed it I thought was cool. Yeah. Obviously, they I got did, a knife. They did the right thing. <laughs> they right. definitely did the right thing. That's fair. I was this quiet, shy kid who didn't get to stay with all the other kids and who would come and go as he pleases and shows up with a double ended stabby knife thing. <laughs> My God. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, we didn't do a comb again this, this week, mm. or this month, I guess. It's more of a month. Another injustice. Yeah, well, we maybe we'll have to get we stay. And we have you know we didn't we didn't get a guess again as well. We that, about. You know what? I think we reserve the comb agains for guests from here on out. All right. Uh, Justin Bruckman wants to come on. Um, I ran into a guy at work at, mm-hmm. who was wearing a Bruckman hoodie. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, Bruckman!" I was like, "That guy sucks." <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, "Tell him Mike Smith says he sucks." I'm gonna fucking tell him his podcast is shit. No, no, I'm gonna have to go at him too. Like, we're gonna have a like a live audio fight. I'm gonna really fuck him a up. Live too. audio fight. Well, he doesn't know. He doesn't mind fighting techniques. He doesn't know that I carry a bag of sand. Yeah, yeah. How do you verbally fight someone? Well, I'm gonna throw a bag of sand in his eyes. Yeah, oh. and then I'll take it from there. And then just like a lot of like old like uh, you know what you could blindfold him. We could even set that up, and he'd still whoop your. I remember guy. I was uh, yeah I was a kid, and I remember I came to him and we're like so Justin, like I think I can take you, but the deal is I get two hatchets like razor sharp hatchets. Yeah, and I think I can take you. And he's like, yeah, you know what? I take that fight. <laughs> he's like, I fucking take that fight for the adrenaline alone. And I'm like, I'm gonna throw both of them. He's like, good. Good. <laughs> then, you're, then you're done. Because <laughs> you'd lose your fucking skull. In the, uh, yeah. Like, yeah uh, shit. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Um, but uh, Justin Bregman, we're still after you. He he wants to he wants to conference with us soon, so we're gonna have to fuck with him. Oh really? Have yeah. you talked to him? Yeah, a couple times. Uh-huh. He wants he wants to drop an idea on us. He said, and I said, well, Oh really? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a fucking Molotov cocktail on your <laughs> on your kid's bike. <laughs> Not threatening your kids, I'm sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, me and that. Kid. His kid's pretty kind of fucking cool. He's got His kid's kid. cooler than you are. Well, no, he's not. Sammy? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, he's cooler. Than you'd you are. be hard fight. You'd be. It's hard, difficult. I, I think know. Sammy and you and cooler Ryan than would me. Be a great really fight. cooler than me. Yeah, pretty close. I don't know. I'm pretty fucking. I'm pretty dope, bro. Nah, I'm really. straight stunning. Like I'm stunning a lot of fools right now. Like. <laughs> yes, mean, and? yes and yes <laughs> and. <laughs> yes and yes yeah, and. Mike told me I wasn't yes anding enough and now I'm just, yeah, here I am nobody knows what that means yes anding oh everyone knows what yes anding is <clears throat> oh shit I was barfed well that's gross <clears throat> oh you know what happened today at work so, uh, we had a customer shit their pants neat yeah did they actually old, like get shit on the floor no he shit his pants sitting on a stool and then <laughs> one of the guys I work with good friend of mine mm-hmm. he smelled it and had to barf yeah. Like right away. So it was then shit and barf in one place. And was he wearing, what do you think the guy was wearing, like an adult diaper or he was something? An old, he was an old guy. Yeah. He was an old guy. He had like cane and shit. I felt kind of bad for him. Did he wear, was but, he wearing an adult, whew. do you think he was wearing an adult diaper? Uh, no, he had to go clean himself up in the bathroom. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I know. I don't want to end up there, man. I don't I know, want to end right? up there. I got to check out early on that one. You start shitting yourself in public, I'm checking out early. Done. There's a lot of things I'll check out early on, though. I got to fill that shit out right away. I'm not going vegetative state, none of that stuff. I gotta fill. I gotta yeah. fill all those forms. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah, that's fair. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not. Getting, I, I'd rather just be an organ farm and just like tear me up, send Get, me out, give the parts away. Oh yeah, sort of. Yeah. Out. Nobody wants your old parts, man. You're oh, fucking mine, pickled. Mine are, mine are done. They're pickled. They all got like HPV. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yeah. That's <laughs> something. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. That's that laying low disease, right? And then, uh, yeah, they're all. Come uh, on. And how you like, you can't give away your calf. That's, That's all tattered, tattooed. Huh? Tattered red. Well, uh, no, you're getting that, actually. I'm going to write that in the will where we're going to. Oh, okay. We're going to bisect it. And, and I could put it in a frame? Frame it, yeah. And shadow box it. Penn and Teller have a f- have frame tattoos, like old sailor, like real old school sailor tattoos. Nice. Like fucking I remember seeing tattoos uh, of skin, like on their walls. I remember seeing uh, something about a guy. His dad was a tattoo artist. He was a tattoo artist, and he had his dad's torso, like his yeah. back piece, yeah, um, like 
I don't know what yeah. you, what you do. You brine it or something. Whatever you do, brine, it's brine. Yeah, you definitely pickle it. <laughs> is that what it is? No. I don't know what you do. No, you just cure it like any other shit. You had, you had it cured and put it in a fucking yeah. shadow box, like airtight shadow yeah. box, and has it on his wall of his yeah. dad's back. I was like, whoa, yeah, okay. And that's when I said Penn and Teller had that. Like uh, yeah. through, through, I guess. <laughs> Can I will my tattoos to somebody? Like, is that? Yeah. yeah. But you'd have to do the. You'd have to pay for the process of removal. But it'd be a nice <sighs> idea. I, I mean, I really love your uh, no the talk is cheap one. What are the, what's the other one? Uh, trouble is cheap. Yeah, yeah. I take that one. I take that one. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's yeah. yours. You can have that one. All right. Well, fucking, you got to write yeah. it up. You right. pick Do it I up. have to write it up? This is on. You have to write this it is up. documented. I can't. This is documented. Ju- no, that's not. This one. This wouldn't stand as a legal document. I can't. I can't. Really? Think. Yeah. I don't know. Well, if you want to say I, Mike Smith, will this? Tattoo. I, Mike Smith, will my uh, reggae cobra tattoo. Of top ta- of reggae Trouble cobra. Oh, he's a reggae cobra for sure. You mean reggae? Nah, I'm just oh, okay. This <laughs> is your reggae. I thought it was like this guy has dreadlocks. I didn't know about. No, it doesn't. It's just a reg- regular cobra. Oh, reggae. Just a regular cobra. Reggie, Reggie the cobra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, like I'm really proud of the chess piece I got. You know, I'd, I'd hate to see it go to waste. At the same time, I mean, it's one of the only things that I've purchased that I know is coming to the grave with me. Would you like it to go that way? You're not an organ donor. Oh, I'm an organ donor. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. Actually, I think. I mean, what the fuck am I going to do with this one? I'm I don't doing? know. I, I think we, we we might be a rarity. I don't. I've what? never. I've never asked anyone else there like uh, and gotten that response back. Every time really? I ask, yeah, I've People never. People say no. I've what the fuck are you going to do with your body? Like fuck it. I'm I not going to do anything with it. Someone else might as well oh, use no. it. If you I can wanted, find, I if you can it. find worth yeah. in any of this, take it. The only thing I thought would be fun would be have it like like um, I'd be laying in the coffin, right? Yeah. And then. Uh, like the the song the song is playing like um, all sang nigh or whatever I don't what that's the New Year's song but nonetheless like I really yeah. <laughs> I want we'll play that song by um, uh, Vitamin C. As we go on, please remember, yeah, all the times and I slowly start to rise like to the ways. Dancing so you want like a pressure, a, like a yeah, and then I slowly some rise. Sort of shock up. system yeah. that pushes arms, you arms up. On my side, so and then my heart, my my head turns towards the crowd. As we go on, and I turn towards the crowd, and then my body starts to lift out of the coffin. Like an like, arm comes up and starts waving, yeah. like the queen. To yeah, everybody. but yeah, but now I'm now I'm lifting, now I'm levitating out of the coffin. And I like, Please remember. And then I'm base, I'm crucified in front of everybody. And then it, there's a it, it comes over over the fire. Would everyone please uh, reach under your seats? And everyone has an Uzi, and you just get to lick. <laughs> you get to light you just, up. Just light me up. Thirty bullets each. Everyone on the. <laughs> I feel like it'd be way more fun if it was paintballs. <laughs> no, no, just straight up, just litter me, just straight up. Well, I mean, you get to. Okay. You'd be, I'd be worried, but so you, you hand that off to like some grandma, and everyone else gets hurt. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I'll go paintballs though, and then you'd be, you'd be, you know, and we'll fire you get to off my confet- organs that way. That's cool, I guess. I don't yeah, know. then you can actually still be an organ donor. Yeah, and we'll fire off a couple of confetti cannons. Yeah, right at the end. That's cool, and they'll stick to you. So you get a, like glitter cannon, mm-hmm. we'll have a glitter cannon right on you. I like to go out with a lot of glitter, I think. Yeah, so paintballs, mm-hmm. and then the glitter, boom, right on you. Yeah. In fact, if you could just, even if, I mean, unofficially, if... Uh, what better way to ruin everyone's If you're going to spread day. my ashes, can you just dump in, like, a bunch of dollar store glitter into it? <laughs> Deal. Yeah. Deal. So it'll end up in, like, a turtle's esophagus. <laughs> <laughs> As you dump it over. I mean, what better way to piss off an entire room of people? How to, better to be eternal than end up in a turtle's esophagus? Sorry, go on. To blast glitter mm-hmm. at your funeral all over everybody. Yeah, nonstop glitter. Nonstop, just non-stop like glitter. confetti cannons of glitter. Like glitter cannons go off. Everybody's nice suits, nice shirts, their fucking hair. It's just like glitter for days. There's a friend of mine, his aunt died, and she was at a party, and uh, she showed up with this like really litty. Really glittery dress, right? She's a super glittery dress, yeah. and she's she was very Scottish. She's oh yeah, don't I look fancy? Look at me, look good. Got all this hair coming on me, and she was very old, and she's yeah. very she's very funny and boisterous. She died like three days later. Jesus, and uh, they're at the funeral, and uh, someone made a comment. She's got a lot of glitter on. He's like, 
And even the funeral director's like, she had so much glitter on, like we couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> From so, three nights, she had, she had she had glitter couldn't off. get rid of the fucking glitter. Like she had so much she had glitter on her in the hospital, glitter all over the whole time. Oh, <laughs> couldn't shake the glitter. I remember thinking, if anyone ever, like, if I ever wanted to get revenge on someone, yeah, like I was like, fuck this guy, fuck them yeah. so hard, and I shouldn't give this away because now I can't. No, do I, it. I, yeah, I have a story about this. Is I, I was like, I'm gonna chuck like two or three cans of fucking dollar store glitter in their washing machine and dryer. Like, like you're fucked. Yeah. If you're doing it for fuck, it, it didn't matter. It doesn't matter how many times you do laundry. You, you literally would have to throw those out. I'm heading you off of the path. I have a bunch of glitter stories. Cause really? What happened was that there was a comedian. I don't remember what his name was. A friend of mine, Sean really loved this bit. And I loved that. I thought it was super fucking funny too. Um, just talked about getting fired from jobs and he knew that he was about to get fired from jobs. And he'd go like, you know, I totally understand. I can't completely get it. Glitter. And just like tap a vial of glitter on him and just glitter. Whoever was just fucking like with him. Cover them in glitter. And then cover them in glitter. It's a really funny idea. Um, I employed this idea one night. It was a Halloween and I was shopping for like face paint and shit. And I was yeah. like, all these, there's like 20 vials of glitter for five bucks. And I was like, oh, oh that's fucking what a deal. Perfect for what I want to do. Just glittering people all night. So uh, I didn't want to, I didn't, I went to the first party. I didn't know anybody that well. And I glittered a couple of people in the driveway. And this guy that, uh, Jay, he hosed me down to the driveway furious because everyone was tracking glitter into the house. Yeah. Right. And so he was not impressed. I had to go to another party. I was so excited when I got to this other party because the guy that me and this guy knew about the bit. We talked about this bit all the time, this glitter bit all the time. I, I couldn't wait for Sean to show up. Like, Sean's going to be here any minute. Sean's going to be here any minute. So I, and I took the glitter out of the vial and I put it in my palm. And it got sweaty and I guess it caked up a lot. So Sean shows up and he shows up in costume and everything. He's like, hey, he's shaking hands with everybody. Hey. Hey, Sean! Glitter! And it threw like a ball of hard glitter. It went straight into his fucking eye. Oh! Turned around, like screaming in pain. Like hit the fucking ground. Screaming. Oh <laughs> glitter God. is not comfortable. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's like little metal it's, it's, shards. It's, car- it's carved up tin. Yeah. It's like, it's like dyed tin. And it's shredding his eyes. And he's fucking screaming. Oh and the guy that just drove him there is on shrooms. Picks him up and puts him back in the car. And I'm like trying to explain to Sean, like, Sean, it's like glitter bit. He's like, it's like glitter bit. He's like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> like, he's not, he's not excited to see me. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. It's like glitter bit. They run like glitter bit. He's like, get the fuck away from me. He's His up. eyes are like fucking literally bleeding. Oh my God. Yeah. And he's driving to the hospital. So that guy's driving to the hospital now. And he's like, yeah, we got to make this quick though. Cause like, I'm, I, I ate shrooms like 40 minutes ago and I'm really starting to trip out. So Sean got dropped off at the fucking hospital <laughs> by himself. Dressed up like to what? Get, yeah, yeah, and he was dressed up like an Oshawa skank. And yeah. <laughs> which was just like, he was wearing like a short white mini skirt and a blonde <laughs> wig, which was gone. Like within, within seconds of the incident, it was gone. He doesn't have a fucking, he has a tube top on and a, like a <laughs> white feather jacket. Like, and he's oh, like, man. all that shit's off. So now well, my friend is wearing, I guess, in the hospital, he's wearing, he's wearing like a mini skirt and a tube top and screaming, bleeding eyes being like, <laughs> wash my eyes out. I wasn't allowed to go to the hospital. And the guy dropped him off, didn't stay at the hospital with him. Jesus. Bad, bad go. <laughs> so fucking glitter, man. Glitter's the worst. Glitter. Be careful with glitter out there, guys. Just a little PSA. Mm-hmm. And we'd like to mention our latest sponsor, uh, glitter.com. Send some glitter to your buddy's house. Get some glitter going. Get some glitter going. Get some glitter yeah. going. Get your glitter going. Yes, for uh, five ninety five a month, we will. Uh, you submit all your friends' addresses into one succinct computer system, and we randomly send glitter to people's houses. Glitter in, bombs in in unassuming packages. That did you see that guy that made that? Uh, yes, I did. That was, cell phone glitter bomb, yeah. like Amazon package. Super over engineer, but yes, really. Oh, nice. unbelievably yeah. engineered fart spray and yeah. glitter. I mean, so good though. Can't we police this problem better? What, what problem? The fucking porch pirate problem. I mean, it seems easy. Like, why don't we have lock boxes now? Like real fuck off mailboxes that they get lock boxes. We call it a day. Well, you know what Amazon wants to do? What's that? They want to put in like a Bluetooth, like like a Wi-Fi enabled door lock that they have a code to. Oh, so get you, the no. 
And they drop. They literally open your door, drop it off in yeah. your front, and close your door. Lock I understand it. the. I understand their desire, but I think what we have to decide about is really big mailboxes. They had them way back in the day. We had we had coal shoots and um, you know uh, yeah. uh, milk milk, milk drop offs. All right, you know what? We just want big ones now, like big lock boxes. Do it again. It's fine. Yeah, I mean it's that works for that some news. stuff. For well, sure. It doesn't work in New York when you have fucking thirty people in a building. Yeah. But I mean, for a house, yeah, give me a big yeah. lockbox. I mean, you can you can put special instructions put on the back porch. Yeah, and I've, I, but I have given those explicit instructions. I've been like, please, please hide on porch, and they'll like put it in the top of my glass door, like as a t-shirt. I'm like, just, really? Just throw it. You can throw it in any corner of my You've porch. You've got an it's easy porch. Like, yeah. My porch doesn't do that. Fully like, my enclosed porch. You, can't, porch. you can yeah. see anything that might be left on my porch. Yes. Your and porch can be hi- hidden, no problem. My porch has like 30 square feet of hiding, fa- hiding yeah. space, and they put it in my glass door at eye level. Well, like, you're not going to lose like, anything but... up there, though. Nobody's going to walk all the way up there and take some. <laughs> well, Oshawa's tough. Half the people are on walkers. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. Well, Michael, I have to go. I have to go. Yeah. Uh, I think it's about that time. Eat it with a bunch of skanks. How long? How long do we record for tonight? Oh, long enough. All right. Yeah. Do we have to do any sort of sign off for the original apology podcast that we made? Do we have to address that at all? Uh, well, no. I I kind of signed it off. Okay. So I'll I'll that. tag that onto the end of whatever edits actually make it through. A lot of editing happening for and you, and it might come uh, at a different time. Maybe we'll maybe we'll release it all at once. But when you do release, we're gonna make a major announcement because we will. Do the 10, 10 for assignees, get a dumpster talk shirt. All right, we'll get started on the shirts. Don't worry, I got a whole plan sorted out. You got, do you? Yeah, I really do. All right, well, we need 10 shirts. Yeah. Make 12, we'll keep one, that way we actually still Oh, have. yeah, nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia. <laughs> that way when I make my quilt. <laughs> get that in. Yeah. Memory quilt. Shit, it's fucking midnight. All right, buddy. Oh, uh, I'm Justin McDonald. I'm Mike Smith. And this ain't never gonna work. Ah!